All right, Ravens flock, what's going on, everybody? Hope you guys are enjoying your day. So it's safe to say that loss against the Dolphins was one of the most embarrassing losses in franchise history. It was one of the saddest losses in franchise history. I mean, that was an epic collapse in the fourth quarter. I still cannot believe that defense gave up 28 points in the fourth quarter. 28 points in 12 minutes is unacceptable from any defense. But for a Baltimore defense to do that, my goodness, if... Ray Lewis, Ed Reed, and Terrell Suggs were watching that game. They must have been disgusted. They would be absolutely embarrassed that this could be considered a Ravens defense. But, you know, there were some circumstances that did play into that. You know, Humphrey was dealing with injuries. He wasn't really even playing in the fourth quarter. He was out. So injuries, miscommunication, failure to execute at times. There were several factors that played into that. I believe the Ravens will work on fixing that, and hopefully that is something that's going to be, you know, improved on as the season goes on. I expect them to address that, and moving forward, we expect that to be better because we know that's something they're going to work on. So I don't really have a that, – that was terrible to see that happen on Sunday, but moving forward, I believe they're going to be at least a little bit better in situations like that because, you know, that is something they're going to address. But this video isn't really to focus on the Dolphins game because that's already passed. We've talked about it. Everybody's discussed it the last 48 hours. We don't need to talk about it anymore. We're done with that. We're getting ready for the Patriots this week. What I want to talk about here is the Ravens as a whole because the mindset that Baltimore has been utilizing for such a long time has uh, honestly been holding them back. Lamar Jackson said something very interesting uh, in his post-game interview. You know, they were asking him regard. It was um, it was regarding the whole situation with the Ravens choosing, the Ravens offense choosing to, like, run the ball. And they were asking him about that situation, how he felt about it. And, you know, he said something very interesting. He said it's not the same old Ravens. This ain't the same old Ravens, you know. In situations like that, when the passing game is working, we have to, you know, stick with it. When something's working, we got to stick with it. If the running game isn't working, but the passing game's working, we have to stick with it. And that was very interesting to hear Lamar Jackson say that because I absolutely agree. But that whole statement of him saying, this ain't the same Ravens, that right there is my main focus of the video here. Lamar clearly understands that this isn't the same old Ravens. But I'm not sure the Ravens understand that this ain't the same old Ravens. Maybe they do. Maybe they do understand it. It could be their pride that is causing them to choose to ignore the fact that this ain't the same old Ravens. I understand the cornerstone of this franchise was two things. A strong physical defense and a dominating running game that can enforce their will on you. These were the two cornerstones of the Ravens. That's what made this franchise what they were. The defense and the running game. That's how they have two championships. I understand that. Even when Flacco was here, that's what they did. The passing game was never an emphasis. It was always the defense and the running game. When you had Ray Lewis there, you had Ed Reed there, you had Terrell Suggs there, you had your guys there, they were the enforcers. That defense enforced everything. On a week-to-week -week basis, teams did not want to face off against the Baltimore defense because they will impose their will, get to the quarterback, put him on the ground, and bully whoever's in front of them. And then on the other side of the ball, they would run the ball down your throat and enforce their will, dominate the time of possession. I understand that has been the cornerstone of what the Ravens have done since the franchise you know, first came to existence in 96. I understand that's what they've built here, but times have changed in the NFL and your roster certainly changed. You don't have Ed Reed anymore. You don't have Ray Lewis anymore. You don't have Terrell Suggs anymore. You don't have these guys there anymore. Look at the state of the Ravens defense right now. We've been seeing it the last couple years. This defense hasn't been getting it done. This defense Hasn't put any fear in anybody. I'm going to be honest right now. Watching that game on Sunday, it's something we've noticed for a while, but I really feel like that game emphasized it for everybody. I, no one's scared of Baltimore anymore. When you come to Baltimore, you don't fear this defense. You don't fear this team anymore. It's not there. No one's afraid of this defense. And you've shown it. They brought out a stat that um, in the last 19 games, the Ravens, by far, have given up the most 
yards out of any team, most passing yards out of any team. So we've been one of the worst, if not the worst passing defense in the league for the last couple years. We've also been one of the weakest, if not the weakest, pass rushing unit in the National Football League. So let me get this straight. We're not really good at stopping the pass. Our coverage is shaky there, and we're honestly one of the worst in pass coverage. We're one of the weakest, if not the weakest, when it, when it comes to getting to the quarterback. Our pass rush has really, really been lacking since Terrell Suggs left. And in terms of tackling, because that's another aspect, we're one of the poorer teams when it comes to tackling on defense. We miss so many tackles. It was something we saw last year, something we saw the year before. This team struggles to make tackles defensively. So they struggle with tackling. They struggle with tackling. They, um, where am I doing that? They struggle with tackling. They struggle with getting to the quarterback. And they struggle with stopping big plays over the top and, and you know, stopping the passing. They struggle with these things. So this defense has glaring holes all over it. They clearly have talented players. We know that. But as a unit, they haven't been that enforcing defense that Baltimore has, you know, been for the better part of their existence. That's not the Ravens defense we have right now. And then you take a look at the running game. It's a shell of its former self. Now, of course, you do not have J.K. Dobbins and Gus Edwards. Once you get them back, we know what they can bring to the table. But even with that, I'm not sure the game plan of just dominating with the running game, I don't think that's going to get us to where we want to get to. The Ravens right now, their mind is stuck in the 2000s. They keep trying to build that same team from the 2000s, trying to build a defense that's going to be enforcing. They're going to force their will on these opponent, on these opposing offenses. They're going to stop them. They're going to force turnovers. They're trying to build that, and it hasn't exactly worked. And then with this running game, they're trying to build that as well. And, of course, when you have your guys, it's effective. But it hasn't gotten you what you've wanted. Why? Because in today's NFL, it's about the passing game. The NFL is all about offense. They've pandered to the offense. So nowadays with defenses, even the best of defenses, they can get cooked on any given Sunday. If you got some good receivers or top quality receivers that can just get open in space, they can cook any defense. It don't matter. They can cook any defense. The league has switched over towards pandering to, to their offense. It's all about the passing game. That's why you're seeing these crazy passing numbers from these quarterbacks. It's all about the offense. So this mindset of the Ravens of just sticking with the running game and trying to force the run game to happen instead of relying on their passing game, that's a problem. Right now, so far this season, from what we've seen in the two games, a small sample size we can see, this passing game has shown a lot of positive looks. This passing game has looked nice. Lamar Jackson has looked great throwing the football. The receivers have been making plays. The passing game looks like it's finally, you know, making the strides that we've wanted to see for quite some time. They're starting to look like the passing game we've been wanting to see for so long. Problem is, we're not letting that passing game dictate the offense. We're so stuck in our mindset that we have to run the ball that we're ignoring whatever's happening in the pass game. And that was a clear example of that in the game on Sunday. Lamar was killing it. He had a perfect passer rating. He was on it. He was on target all day. The receivers were making the catches and making big plays. And the passing game was eaten. Anything the Dolphins defense threw at us in that game, the passing game passed with flying covers, with flying colors. They were able to answer anything that Dolphins defense was throwing at them. But yet, despite that, when the game started to wind down and that lead started to get closer, we kept trying to force the run to happen instead of relying on our passing game, which was doing well on all three, on all three phrases. The short, intermediate, and deep passing game, it was doing its thing. We were seeing great strides there. Instead of relying on the passing game, we chose to go to the running game. And ultimately, because of that, the offense stalled. What we were, I believe we were, um, hmm. I believe we were, what, 3 of 9 or 3 of 10 on third down against the Dolphins? We were poor on third down. And a lot of those third downs were third and short situations. What did we do in those third and short situations? We ran the ball up the gut. Be it with Lamar. Be it with Kenyon Drake. 
be it with Mike Davis, be it with Justice Hill. We just kept running the football. Instead of giving the ball to Lamar and trusting in our receivers, we kept running the football, which I didn't understand. I was speaking about this on the live stream while I was watching the game. In these short situations, these short yardage situations, this is a perfect time to use Mark Andrews. All those plays you guys like to use in two-point conversions to get him open, you could easily do that. What's wrong with motioning him to the right and giving him that space? Get the ball to him quickly. On third and two, that will work every time. The play they ran on the goal line to get Mark Andrews wide open, that is something that has been effective whenever they ran it. So on third and short situations, that can work. Utilize Rashad Bateman. Get the ball in his hands. He's got speed. Devin Duvernay's got speed. A quick throw on third and two and let Bateman or Duvernay get the first down, that can work. But instead, we chose to force the run to happen. Why? Because that's the mentality. And at the end of the day, I'm not going to blame Greg Roman because that's exactly what the Ravens wanted to do. Greg Roman did exactly what the Ravens wanted to do. And I feel like at some point, we got to realize with Greg Roman, he's just doing what the Ravens brought him here to do. Now, if it's not working, it's not being effective, that's on the execution. So, it's it's tough right there, but he's just doing what the Ravens want him to do. Now, I'm not a fan of Roman, obviously, but I've already said it this season. Everything he does, if it's good or bad, I'm looking at Harbaugh. If he messes up, it's on Harbaugh and DaCosta because you chose to keep those two here. I mean, you chose to keep him here. Those two chose to keep him here. So, whatever happens with Greg Roman, that's going to be... I'm, I'm going to hold Harbaugh accountable for everything Greg Roman does. That's going to be on Harbaugh. That's going to be on DaCosta. That's just my mindset because you chose to keep him here. You got rid of Wink Martindale, but you chose to keep Greg Roman. So whatever happens, it's on y'all heads. So yeah, um, Greg Roman, he just did what the Ravens wanted them to do. We got to run the football in these third and short situations. Instead of just utilizing the pass game on third and short, we keep running the football thinking that's going to work. That's literally the definition of insanity. We keep doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. As if teams don't know by now on third and short, we just hand the ball to Lamar and see if he can pick up the first down or we're going to give it to the back and he's going to run to the, run up the gut. It's not working. You came up with some nice plays on first on fourth down, you know, the, the, the handoff to Andrews and then giving it to the fullback Patrick Ricard to pick up the first down. But other than that, teams know what you're doing. You're not doing anything with the passing game on third and short. You're not utilizing that, and that's a problem. The Ravens are still stuck in the mindset of we got to rely on our defense and we got to rely on this dominating run game. That's what we need to have. But right now, you don't have that. You don't have a dominant defense. They're still dealing with injuries, and right now, they're not playing as a unit. And even when everyone's healthy and they're executing, they're still not that type of defense you want them to be. It's not coming back. You're not going to get that defense of old. The 2000s defense, you're not getting that back, Baltimore. Your mindset's stuck in the 2000s. It's not going to happen. That running game, even when you get J.K. Dobbins and Gus Edwards back, the running game's obviously going to improve. But it's not going to improve to the point where you expect it to be a majorly dominating running game. I hope it does. But even if it does, at the end of the day, in this league, you're going to have to throw the football, especially in late game situations. And you can't keep relying on the run game to dictate your offense. Lamar said it again. This ain't the same old Ravens. Lamar understands a change needs to happen. We need to make that shift. The passing game needs to dictate this offense. And we're seeing the improvements. We're seeing the strides in the passing game. Instead of embracing that, instead of giving Lamar the keys and letting him go free, we're still trying to do this whole same thing with the running game. We want the running game to be the central point of our offense so bad that we're willing to force it in these late game situations. Even if it's not working, 14 carries for 28 yards, 14 carries for 28 yards. That's what your three backs had. That's their totality against the Dolphins. 14 carries, 28 yards. You kept forcing it despite the fact that it wasn't working instead of relying on your passing game. When one thing isn't working and another thing's working, you go with what works. But we didn't because we're still stuck in this mindset that we have to establish the run game. If the run game ain't working, go to the pass game. We're yet yeah, we're still stuck with this mindset. No, we have to establish the running game. The running game has to be the central point of our offense. That has to be the main focus. The running game has to dictate the offense. I don't think we can win like that moving forward. Even if we get J.K. Dobbins and Gus Edwards back and they're effective in the running game, which they will be, I don't think we can win long term unless we give Lamar the keys and let the passing game dictate this offense. You can still have J.K. Dobbins and Gus Edwards do what they got to do. 
You can still utilize the run game, but the passing game needs to dictate this offense. You know, Lamar throwing for 30 times. He's got to throw more than that. In a situation like this, you got he's got to be throwing 35, 40 times a game. You need to have 35, 40 passing attempts by Lamar and maybe, what, 15 to 20, if you can get that much, rushing attempts. He needs to get those 35 to 40 passes because we have to utilize the passing game more. This passing game needs to be the one to dictate the offense. That's a new mentality, and Baltimore is not ready to accept that. They still want to have the run game dictate the offense, and I don't think that's going to work. If the Ravens are truly serious about um, making it to the Super Bowl this year, they're going to have to accept that the running game cannot dictate this offense. We have to let the passing game dictate this offense, and we have to understand that the defense we have right now, that's not the defense of old. We've tried. We've tried. It's not the defense of old. Get your mind out of the 2000s. It's not working anymore, okay? This defense can be great in moments. They'll have their moments in strides. There'll be games down the road where you see this defense dominate. They'll have those moments. But to just assume that this defense is going to be that same physical, that imposing defense that we saw in the 2000s, it's not going to happen. We keep trying to build that, but it's not going to happen. We got talented guys here, so I mean, it's not like the defense is going to be terrible if everyone's healthy and the, the communication is there and we can execute, but it's not going to be that defense the Ravens want it to be. This is not going to be a top five defensive unit. It's not. It's not. I hope they prove me wrong. I hope when they get everybody back, they're playing defense the way the Bills are playing. I would love for the Ravens defense to look like the Bills defense, but I don't think it's going to happen. I just don't think so. This defense is still going to be here. They're still going to do their things. They're going to have their moments. But I don't think consistently down the stretch, I'm not sure we can trust them. I I'm not sure. Taking a look at the track record, the track record the last couple of years, I don't know if we can trust this defense. Just looking at the track record, I'm not sure. The 2019 defense was great. It was great for the majority of the year. They had some hiccups, like against the Browns, because again, in an era like this, you're not going to expect the defense to play well every single week. It's just not going to happen. The Bills defense will have moments like that too. Every defense is going to have moments like that. But you want the consistency. Now, we saw the consistency in 2019 with that defense, but once they got to the playoffs, we saw them unravel. Now, you can sit back and say it was the defense not executing or the coaching, but we've seen this defense unraveled. 2019 was a fantastic defense, but it unraveled. I think at this point, we got to accept the defense for what it is. You could try to add to it, and obviously the Ravens are going to try to add to it. You know, they they uh, tried to, they brought in JPP, and I also believe they brought in Blake as well to see if they can fix this whole pass rushing situation because you only have two edge rushers. So they tried to bring those guys in and see if they can get something going. Obviously, you're going to want to add to that. And as for the secondary, they're just going to have to work with what they have there, and they're going to have to play better. But still, even when you get everyone together and you get this defense healthy, I don't think you can sit back and rely on it the way we were able to rely on our defenses uh, back in the prime era of Ed Reed and Ray Lewis and Terrell Suggs. I don't think we're going to, we're never going to see a defense like that. We're never going to see a defense like that, especially not with this unit. This is what it is. So the Ravens have to accept that. You know, they have to accept that it's time to pivot. They have to accept the fact that this way of, of coaching and this mindset of having to rely on the defense and the running game instead of just emphasizing the passing game and let the passing game dis dictate the game, they have to get used to that. They have to accept that this mindset of dominant defense and running game, it's not happening. They have to accept it's not going to happen, okay? It's just not going to happen. I don't know how, I don't know how to put it, man. I really don't know how to put it because it's making it seem like I'm trying to have the, the Ravens erase their entire identity. That's not what I'm trying to say. I'm just saying that this way of thinking, this way of thinking as if it's the 2000s, like you got the 2000 Ravens defense out, there, um, defense out there, that way of thinking is the wrong way of thinking. That defense is not the 2000 Ravens defense. It's not. It's not at all. It's not. And the running game right now is nowhere near adequate. You have a passing game that's thriving, and you're not utilizing it. It's time for the Ravens to make a change. That's just what I'm saying. Their mentality has to change. They have to put their pride to the side and adjust and adapt to the way football is played today. Okay, we're seeing all these other teams making the adaption. 
But Baltimore wants to stick with what they've been doing their entire time, and it hasn't been working. It hasn't been working right now. So if they're truly serious about contending for a championship, they're going to have to wake up and realize that our way of thinking, treating this defense like it's the 2000s, treating this team like it's still the 2000s, and trying to rely on the defense and the run game instead of letting your quarterback in that passing offense, which is showcasing something right now, and instead of letting that dictate how we move, you're letting the defense and the run game try to dictate it. It's not going to work out, bro. It's not going to work out. I, I know it's really coming off as if I'm saying they got to erase their entire identity, but I, I'm really not trying to say that. You can still want to. You can still work on the defense. You can still work on the defense and improve it so that the defense can be as best as they can be. Get the best possible unit you can get out of these guys. I want to still see this Ravens defense be great, and you can still work on that. You can also still work on the run game, especially when J.K. Dobbins and Gus Edwards get back. You can still work on that and get them involved in the offense. What I'm trying to say is that way of thinking, as if you can run your way all the way to a Super Bowl and rely on this defense to make stop against top-tier competition, that's not going to work anymore. You don't have those type of guys. This defense is not going to consistently make stops against top-tier defense, uh, top-tier offenses. They're not going to stop teams like the Chiefs. They're not going to stop teams like the Bills. And we just saw here, you know, if you've got explosive guys in your offense, they're going to eat. They're going to eat. And the Ravens' defense is not going to make a stop. I don't know if we can trust them down the stretch consistently. But the Ravens keep thinking like they have the 2,000 Ravens defense. So because of that mindset, they think everything's going to be fine. When that's not the case, I want this defense to be as great as it possibly can be, but relying on the defense, relying on the run game to win us games and get us deep in the playoffs, it's not going to happen. You've got an MVP at quarterback of Lamar Jackson, and the passing game is finally showing the strides we want to see. This passing game is looking great through two games. It's time to make that pivot. Give Lamar Jackson in this passing game the keys. Let him and the receivers do what they want. And let the passing game dictate what we do. We have to what, on what we're doing. We have to become a passing team. We have to become a passing team. I'm not saying get rid of the run. Obviously, you're not going to, especially once you get those two guys back. Get J.K. Dobbins, get Gus Edwards back. That's great. I'm not saying that we're not going to run the football. But I'm saying you have to become more of a passing team. You have to let your passing game dictate the offense. You have to rely on your passing game because in this league, if you're not able to throw the football, you're not going to win the Super Bowl. It's not going to happen. I guess these top tier guys, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen at all. So it's time for the Ravens to make that pivot. It's time for them to get out of this old mentality that they can just have their defense and their run game carry and they can just continue to ignore the, the, the passing game. They can't do that anymore. Let the passing game shine. Let the passing game dictate. And you can work on the running game and the defense to be as great as they can be. Work to improve on those aspects as much as you can. But let the passing game dictate this team. Let the passing game dictate the offense. Let this become more of a passing team. Put the keys in the hands of Lamar Jackson and let him in this passing game unleash. That's what they need to do. Adapt to what we're seeing. Adapt to what you're seeing with the Bills. Adapt to what you're seeing with the Chiefs. Adapt to what you're seeing with some of these other teams here. Adapt. Adapt to how football is played in today's NFL. Stop thinking it's the 2000s. It's not anymore. You don't have the 2000s Ravens defense. You don't have this incredibly dominant running game. It's not happening. It's not. It's time to get out of that mentality. Okay? It's time to get out of that mentality. It's time to pivot and adjust to today's NFL, okay? You still want the defense to be great. You still want them to make plays and make stops and work towards having a defense like that. You still want to have some sort of running game because no running game makes you one-dimensional. And work towards that, especially once you get J.K. Dobbins and Gus Edwards back. Work towards having the running game you still want to have. But you also have to understand that the passing game needs to take precedent. The passing game needs to dictate the offense. It's time. We got to make the adjustment. We can't keep playing football our own way and trying to be different from every other team and be like, no, we're going to do it our own way. The league is adjusted. It's a passing league now, but we're going to be the one team that just runs the football and plays good defense. You're not going to win a Super Bowl like that. And based on the results over the last several years, it hasn't worked. It has not worked. Even in Lamar Jackson's MVP season, it didn't work. You saw what happened in the divisional round. Consistently, 
I don't know if you can trust his coaching staff consistently. I don't know if you can trust his defense. And we've seen both of those collapse in the playoffs. It's time to let this passing game eat. If these two games that we've seen so far from the passing game, if that is an indication of what this game, that what this passing game can be and what Lamar Jackson and the receivers are going to do this year, then the Ravens need to wise up and let those guys eat. They need to wise up and let those guys do what they got to do. It's time to make a pivot. Ah, man. With that being said, that is all I got to talk about here. I feel like I talked in circles in this one, but really it was just me emphasizing the same message. If you really want a quick recap and you don't want to deal with the whole, what, 25 plus minutes of me talking, just understand that the Ravens need to come to a understanding that this ain't the same old Ravens team. That's not the 2000 Ravens defense and you don't have a dominant running game. Understand that you need to make the adjustment. We're not in the 2000s anymore. This is 2022, and the NFL has changed. It's a passing league now. The offense is dictated by the passing game. It's time for you to make that pivot. The passing game must become president. The passing game must dictate the Ravens' offense. You can still work on having a great running game once you get J.K. Dobbins and Gus Edwards back. You can still work to improve on this defense so that they can still make plays, force turnovers, and execute when you need them to. You can still work on those two aspects, but you got to let the passing game eat. It's a passing league. It's time for the Ravens to become a pass-centric team. You can still run the football, but you have to get out of this mentality and, and thinking that I'm um, getting out of this mentality and thinking as if it's the 2000s that we can still do the things that we were successful with, successful with back then. It's not going to work. We cannot continue to do the things that we did in the 2000s in 2022. Football is vastly different from how it was back then. So it's time to make that pivot. Basically, Ravens, make the pivot. Give the keys to Lamar Jackson that passing game. Let the passing game dictate the offense. Still work on improving the run game. Still work on improving the defense. But the Lamar Jackson in that passing game needs to be the president of this Ravens team. They need to be the emphasis. They need to be the focal point of this Ravens team because it's a passing league. And if you don't have a great passing offense, you're not going to have a shot to win the Super Bowl. And until the Ravens realize that, we're going to be stuck with what we're usually stuck with. A talented team that can contend but they come up short every year. It is what it is. With that being said, that is all I've got. Man, I talked a lot, and I feel like I talked in circles. You guys tell me. If you, get, if you got this far in the video, tell me. Did I talk in circles? Did I mess? I'm, I know I messed up like several times, but like, did I talk in circles? Did I just say the same thing like five, six times? It felt like that because it's a very simple message, but I have to keep saying it over and over again because the Ravens won't get it through their thick skull. The Ravens flock has been saying this for years, but they refuse to accept it. And I don't know when they're going to accept it. Hell, I don't, know, I don't even know if they're going to accept it in the first place. But let me cut it here. With that being said, that is all I've got, and I'm out of here, man. Peace.